Hello, marketers. Welcome to Hashtag Originals, real professional for insights learning. Naveen Yukudi is doing PGDBM from Goa Institute of Management and is very much active on LinkedIn with his diversified thoughts. He has been either as a campus finalist or campus winner in various industry competitions such as Pidelite, B School Case Study Competition, Signify, VMware, and a lot more. He is very much active in a college student club and is a part of core committee of Samarthan. Welcome, Naveen, to Hashtag Originals, Real Insights with Professional Learning. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing great. Lovely. It's uh, yeah. good to have you. And uh, I've been seeing your LinkedIn post uh, and uh, that makes me excited to watch you to onboard you on Originals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even I am following the marketing. So it's been an amazing journey over there. Thank you. Thank you. So let's begin the conversation around your MBA. So why you have chosen MBA? What's the background and you know, your marketing as a major? Right. Uh, actually, I'm an engineering uh, by chance and M MBA by choice. So I was a diligent student, took science and uh, as a trend uh, engineering. So uh, later, uh, uh, during my engineering, I did it from PS University. We had majors and minors. So my majors were mechanical and my minors were business administration. Uh, that's where my interest for MBA uh, came out. So I realized my interest area is uh, business studies. So I, I started working upon uh, my uh, career or uh, academics uh, learning aspects with respect to business administration. So it would be better for me as I move ahead in my career. Uh, so yeah, coming to marketing, so I was clear that I'll be doing marketing more than MBA. So, uh, so I have to do MBA or to do marketing. That's how it is for me. Uh, I enjoyed uh, doing case studies in marketing and I have been always involved in all the uh, conversation around the marketing. So I have also read the Philip Kotler like uh, in my engineering days only. Uh, then I realized this, I am inclined towards creativity and innovation. That's where my, uh, I would best fit in a, a marketing industry. That's how my interest for marketing started. And one interesting uh, converse, uh, conversation to be here is, I read This is Marketing by Seth Gordon. Uh, then I realized that I just know 1% of marketing. Still, there is 99% left. So that gave me and more energy to uh, learn more through LinkedIn posts and interacting with the industry experts. Yeah. To that, uh, to your surprise, I am also a uh, marketer turned from engineer. So I am an engineer oh, and, <laughs> and uh, marketer by choice. So uh, way back uh, right. when I completed my engineering, I realized that this is not something for me. Uh, I cannot drag exactly. myself 16, Same 16, with you. 16, uh, 16 uh, hours to the coding. Or rather, I can go 16 hours into the market and I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so. Interesting. What's your daily routine, Naveen? Uh, yeah, uh, for a student, the routines are changing, like coming to pre-pandemic or during college. And I went to campus for a few months and then again back to home. So I would like to talk about my present routine, which is the best routine I ever had in my lifetime. Uh, because I have changed my routine rigorously. Like... Uh, I get up early, like not so early, but still early in the morning. I start with yoga and meditation in the morning. Uh, then I read newspaper. Uh, I prefer the Hindu, like since my childhood days, I am reading the same paper. And then I start with my internship work. Uh, and in the middle, I take breaks and spend time on LinkedIn, uh, interacting with people. Like that's a best platform, I, I suppose, for any youngster to explore or any professional. So, and uh, post that evening, I go for a walk. Uh, like I, I also uh, take my phone along. I have a conversation with my friends. Like I call my old friends. I always love to keep in touch with old people. Uh, that's how it has been for me. And uh, post dinner, I usually spend time reading books. Uh, like as I mentioned, uh, this is marketing, uh, this, which was my recent read. And, and, and I also established my sketching skills. Like I used to sketch in my school days. So it has come back. And now I'm also working on the, those skills uh, during my free uh, leisure time. So I'm happy that my, I have a constant uh, uh, 
progress in in these days so that's how is my daily routine lovely missing college yeah absolutely <laughs> it was great there hanging out with friends and uh, it's it's the learning would be more over there like when we interact with people here it's over uh, internet so somewhere uh, that would be a greater experience True. but living with the move <laughs> right i agree i absolutely agree the social learning aspect uh, and in fact in the marketing works wonder so i appreciate right. it absolutely so any case study you have already i saw, read your profile you have won a lot of competitions campus winner yes, yes. and what not so and any case study you would like to right. share for our audience yes exactly i did few case studies like uh, in my first semester only i cracked pd light uh, born with pd light uh, been to semi final rounds and then to name few more was signify we they conducted luminaire that was a campus case study so it was based on bringing out on a new brand for uh, philips that is signify uh, a new b brand for their product line so i would uh, this case study is very close to my heart so i would give more insights about this case study uh, so we as a team me aditya and samriddhi uh, we we uh, we came up with a uh, new brand without brand cannibalization that was our main concept so here uh, we came up with ojas as a new uh, bulb in the segment and we were targeting uh, middle class and lower income group so the pricing would be not premium like it would be lower lower pricing uh, so uh, to reduce this price we came up with an idea of reducing the thickness of uh, heat sink of the bulb and also coming up with other alternative materials for abs uh, abs uh, and uh, pvc are used in the bulb so coming up with alternatives which can reduce the cost was our main idea and then regarding uh, target i told about the target audience and then uh, the placement when we were supposed to do the placement we were going with bottom to top approach in the urban sector that is emerging market then fringe then upper uh, urban class we were uh, targeting because since the uh, premium it's not a premium product so pricing is bit lower so uh, this would be better approach to uh, reach the market and as usual we were looking for our existing um, distributor and new distributors we wanted to do pilot testing uh, whichever works the best without uh, having a brand cannibalization that's very important the present brand shouldn't uh, be harmed with coming up with a new product so in this way we uh, understood the market we did lot of market research uh, we, in the in the times of pandemic uh, we took precautions and went to the retail stores and took the survey how how are the brands doing and based on that we identified that in south india it's uh, people are more brand conscious the signify bulbs are already doing great here um, and north east west the other brands are doing better over there because people are not much brand conscious so we realized where to place our product first and then move ahead so and in this journey i also learned how to do break even analysis you uh, having our own constraints Uh, with respect to uh, cost reduction or may it be labor cost or even the r and d expenses so it was a great learning experience here it's not about end uh, solution the process we go through to get that end solution was very interesting and since i am in more into creativity you know uh, part so i was majorly responsible to do the presentation we did a 20 slides deck so it was a great journey uh, doing this yeah. and and uh, must have now explore the market as well so what are your thoughts on it yeah unemployment yes it's a big big concern to developing country like india uh, so it's been it's been more than problem of unemployment it is unemployability that is the biggest concern here Uh, so let let me not talk on a major issue of unemployment instead i'll break it down to unemployment in youths that's uh, that would be more making sense right now uh, so it's 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 identified that uh, uh, between the age of 15 to 29 are considered as uh, youths so uh, the major problem that is faced is skills lack of skills uh, 
being india a service uh, economy so the observation of service industry is less compared to um, manufacturing sector so in india uh, yeah is it is it audible mm-hmm. yes 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 carry on right okay uh so uh, i would personally feel that a uh, lack of skills is what making the youths uh, not getting the right job what they are expecting so and also uh, the education thought in the college and the industry expectation there is a gap we need to uh, put a, a a bridge to this gap that is happening for example right now data science digital marketing mi machine learning artificial intelligence these are booming sectors but which is not taught in the colleges so there is a gap the courses which are still the old they need to be updated on the courses so that they are industry ready it's more about being industry ready right even you might have seen uh, you uh, in corporate there is a lot of trainings even after doing uh, graduation from good universities because what is required is not given in the curriculum that's where the problem of unemployment is rising in my opinion so people should come out of their comfort zone and look into the opportunities like we can't wait for opportunities to come we should be a lion i, I suppose going and hunting for the opportunities every single day we can't be a hyena to have the leftover food or the chicken so that's that's how uh, it works for me i think every youth should be a lion going out and hunting for the opportunity that's that's fabulous uh, i think this is the approach which is required uh, you know for indian youth indian students uh, when they start hunting for a job they should look out for the things uh, you know which are important uh, the, with respect to their skills right. and with respect to their at- attitude and with respect with respect to their aptitude so i i do agree right that. right exactly so what do you think a student should be ready for learning from covid like instances it has changed everything right right so covid uh, changed an individual to an economy it has hurt everyone to be frank so uh, we should be resilient that's what i feel uh, like swami vivekananda like once he said that we sh- our nerves should be like steel our mind should be uh, like thunderbolt and he mentions that muscle should be uh, i mean the strong to handle any situation that is making more sense right now we should be uh, not worrying about what is happening oh it's a break for us so we can't do anything that kind of mindset we should come out so that we can learn more and more on a personal note i have i had uh, got my hobby back that was sketching i used to sketch in my school days so i gave up on it in this process of rat race and then in when it gave me self time i realized that i got a time for myself in sketching which helped me to come out with more patient when in situations sketching also helps us to be more patient so that's what i learned during this uh, pandemic so so uh, it's for each an individual should be uh, aware that what is happening and take precautions and keep moving ahead we shouldn't have a stop uh, that's what i personally feel this pandemic has done to everyone that's that's very really lovely and uh, the hobby aspect is absolutely right you uh, know because uh, right. with the uh, 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 no a lot of time which used to go to for the traveling and this is all been saved and uh, i'm yeah, very exactly. happy <laughs> so i'm really happy to see you know it has converted into hobbies and that that's a valuable input navin right. you have given uh, i would endorse it uh, to all the marketers those uh, who are still working from home please ensure that you know you are starting pursuing your hobby you know it is going to make a lot of impact you know as navin is rightly recommending sketching as helped him lot it really does work you know i have i have started craft work navin so i may oh, great <laughs> something from cement right it's a diy 5 minutes right, craft right. so i have started that okay. and it, it has helped me a lot does help me a lot right, to right, understand right. from analysis to the patients both so lovely right right, right. so who according <laughs> to you is a great marketer uh yeah this is very <laughs> tricky question for me also i am still identifying the answer yeah so uh, first of all i want to uh, break this taboo that tactics is marketing that's completely wrong in my opinion 
so there is no word called tactic in the dictionary of marketing it's more of strategy strategy that we inculcate in in our journey of marketing so uh, for i i personally feel that marketing is a generous act of helping others like to make them feel happy to make them feel comfortable to make them come out of the problem is what a marketer is uh, is supposed to do so it's no more selling a pen uh, or advertising in mass media is marketing it's all evolved evol now it's an era of digital marketing right so we should be patient empathy and respectful to our customers so it will bring out the best from our side and even the customers will give a same uh, reflection to what we are doing uh, so and i also want to mention this point that the uh, the world is coming closer and through internet we are able to reach anyone so it's not that it's easy to sell now because we have access to internet it's out of that noise only particular set will be our target customers right so to pick them it's very important to channelize the this entire journey of uh, marketing i suppose so so it's 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 important that um, a marketer understand that he's changing the culture the culture of being better for better so it's like connecting the customers and what their requirements it's the journey of connecting and 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 marketer should be aware of the moment also like the fevicol ad which came up recently uh the controversy of coke and uh, ronaldo which gave this campaign so we should be very mindful of what is happening around us so we can pick the situation and take it for our advantage of attention so grabbing attention is not that easy because if the world is noisy so we need to grab the right attention and with the tr- trust we can move forward the sales and revenue which will automatically fall in place so the answer is like uh, we uh, there is no complete hard and fast answer to this so we are also evolving so the marketing is also evolving we should be just just to the point what is happening and be mindful of things happening around us that's how our market here that, that's really lovely answer and uh, i could sense it that is really coming straight from your heart and uh, uh, you asked me this is a tricky question yes i purposefully added it Uh, in in the uh, questions that we were supposed to discuss and the reason was one this only you know the marketing soul when we formed uh, the ideology was this only you know to uh, ensure our student community all the marketers and all the mba bba students all the graduates all the 0 to 5 years experience they all should understand it that it it does not take a rocket science to be a great marketer it's only about that be yourself right, right? Exactly. be yourself and uh, right, ensure right, that right. you are treating customer as a human not not just as a, as a sales aspect so i wanted to have as a fresh perspective from your side you know because you will enter the world you have done lot of internship right. so i wanted to take your perspective what it goes and i have really loved your answer i mean god bless great right so uh, taking the conversation forward given a chance to change anything what would you like to change uh, with career perspective i don't have much of regret like it's it was a great being an engineer uh, it, it gave me some sense of discipline about other exploring the career aspects uh, on a personal note i i feel that i should have worked on my personal finance so i would have saved better money uh, as a as as a, being a minimalist approach to uh life is better i feel as uh, that i i didn't i learned that recently to be honest like i re- i am reading the psychology of money like i am reading it very slowly because it's an amazing book so i don't want to end it very soon so uh <laughs> i wish that i would have read this before uh, because it is giving me better sense of understanding with respect to finance personal finance especially so uh, i only regret that i i could have uh, saved the money which i wasted and invested in some good uh, uh, in into a good companies or something of that sort other than this i, I don't i don't have any regrets uh, in my career or personal life you know navin while talking to you i'm i'm feeling so blessed because the each of the questions and answers that we are we are discussing here uh, just now you mentioned yeah. about money you know few days back i posted uh, a post on linkedin about this uh, i think we were interacting on that uh, 
that uh, right. finance for the marketers you know uh, it's the investment aspect uh, i started my mm-hmm. investment when i started uh, my first job uh, way back right. in 2008 i i started uh, doing my investments right. yeah and I, I actually I realized uh, this uh, of course when the marketing soul when we formed this is one of the agenda and we will be driving it uh, and uh, uh, with God grace uh, the kind of exposure that I have got through the psychology of money and as well as mm-hmm. the the experience that I have and handling I'll be sharing a lot of information on it and uh, anytime we can discuss about it and I'll be taking a series right. also on the same for for the okay, great, for great. our marketers okay. I'll be taking a series of it where I'll onboard the financial experts here and guiding us that uh, for example student like you at this point of a time when you start learning you should and mm-hmm. you start learning and earning so you should have an idea about you know how, what to do and how in what what quantity right so right, uh, absolutely right, right. we will be doing and uh, i'll be inviting you again for the same also right <laughs> yeah great <laughs> so um, i mean you are very active on linkedin i know uh, what would be your tips uh, you know for the freshers and a student uh, who can take advantage of this platform uh yeah so uh, in my opinion uh, linkedin is an amazing platform for anyone uh, it 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 just it's just a learning journey it's not just about finding a job it's not about just connecting uh, with corporates it's a learning journey i suppose like every day i read at least 10 articles from linkedin which is every day shaping my uh, opinions of thoughts i have on particular ideas or uh, it is also bringing more innovation in me so uh, you should be active on this platform it will bring better you to the better heights for example uh, consider this uh, event itself uh, i met you through linkedin and that's how where we uh, met and that's how our journey started right so it will it is it will create us with a new a new journey that's taking us to a greater heights and also uh, to mention about uh, career perspective uh, is that uh, see when you are active on linkedin the like minded people also come to you and join hands so if you are willing to start something if you are want to be an entrepreneur it will be a good platform when you have a uh, people uh, people and the ideas so the implementation part would be much easier when you discuss your ideas with people so uh, networking also builds on, on the other hand your learning curve also uh, sharpens so that, that's that's what i would suggest everyone who is a student should come out and explore this uh, platform talk to new people ex- ex- uh, put opinions about your thoughts before i used to think a lot to put a comment i used to be scared what, what if i am wrong uh, what if it is not making sense to the post so even then i went and commented uh, just to have the conversation and then i realized oh i am aligning with the idea so slowly it will help you mold your thinking so that's how uh, my journey uh, went through linkedin and i also got many opportunities through linkedin itself like uh maybe a part time consulting so uh, opportunities will open up when once we enter this platform so uh, everyone should uh, start writing uh, it will build the the writing the storytelling aspect is required wherever we go it's all that story that sells for us so we need to build this habit of writing slowly like even i am very bad at my uh, like uh, verbal skills so i am improving on it so every day uh, there is one or the other thing that i learn by writing also uh, that's uh, that's what i feel so we need to explore new new ideas technologies and that will bring you uh, interaction with industry experts who will give who will give you guidance like uh, it's very difficult to find a particular solution for a problem you need to find multiple ways there is no one shot solution to uh, any problem for a marketer also elon musk he sells through his personal branding whereas companies like png coke they spends billions of dollar like 4 billion dollars per year on their marketing budgets so it's not same right the situation is different so similarly our life is also different from anyone else our understanding is different from anyone else right so we need to explore ourselves understand our strength and weakness 
talk to the experts, take mentorship, guidance from seniors or alumni. So it will make uh, things easier for you and, and the other person also will be able to understand your ideas and innovation. So I want everyone to ex uh, listening to this uh, uh, event to explore the LinkedIn. It's, it's, it's huge. So there's a huge potential. Just go into it. That's what I say. That's, that's absolutely uh, perfect. In fact, uh, that is the way around. Uh, no? When you want to increase your base, no, which is actually required, no? apart from your uh, theoretical aspect, you know, we discussed uh, in the early part of this episode. Uh, this is something amazing platform and I think when everyone should use it. Uh, Naveen, uh, what are your thoughts on the marketing soul uh, community of passionate marketers? Now you are also the part of our community. So what are your takes? Right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's a great learning platform. So everyone will be able to uh, give their thoughts, take feedback. So there will be an interaction. So in this times of pandemic, as earlier discussed, we shouldn't stop. These are the ways to fight back such situations. Like uh, it's high time we realize spending uh, time on waste, like on social media, uh, like exploring it for uh, just for uh, time pass. There's no space for time pass now. It's all the world is moving. Yeah. So we. Right, right, right. So. <laughs> So I, I feel that uh, we should be more involved with uh, what's happening around us and understand for a market year, no idea is like old. Every day a new idea comes up. So uh, for a particular situation, uh, idea or innovation will definitely hit and it will make a big uh, illusion or it will make a big impact. So to have that, we have to have one-on-one -on -one interaction, peer-to-peer -peer learning, learning from others and also uh, embracing our strengths. Like we have to sometimes play with our strengths and also uh, we have to stop uh, on our weaknesses. Uh, those things will definitely come when you have a community surrounded by you. It will be like, they will be helping you. Uh, so whenever you have something that is uh, keeping you uncomfortable or it's not helping you to grow or something of that, when you are ignorant, if if you're talking to your, yourself in, in front of a mirror, the answer won't come to you. When it's like a uh, circle, you'll be in a loop. When it goes to many people, the loop will be broken and you can come out of it. That's the power of a community, I feel. That's really lovely, uh, Naveen. And I thank you so much from the core of my heart, uh, the conversation that we had, uh, the discussions that we had was uh, really core from the heart. And uh, I appreciate your time with 